Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. It's about 10 o'clock Wednesday morning. And I just wanted to give you a look at the south end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. The park is closed until further notice. Stay out of the park. I'll be down along the water. I won't be in the park. But I wanted to give you kind of a look at what's going on here. You can see a lot of debris still out here. The dunes all gone. All the beautiful sea oats gone. Trees toppled over. That's pretty much the story all the way up the shoreline here. They will rebuild, the park will be back. A little windy here, sorry. But until now, until further notice, and for now, the park remains closed. And respect that. Don't be going up in there, wandering around, trying to check things out on your own there. The best way to keep in touch is follow Friends of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park on Facebook. Friends of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Follow that group on Facebook. For the latest information as well, let's go to floridastateparks.org, floridastateparks.org. Look for Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Click on that and get the updates. But for right now, it's pretty much, the update is closed until further notice. Again, this is the very south end, Area 1, of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park, where we walked many a times. Got some folks out there helping out, picking up some debris, stacking it up the best they can. Really heartbreaking images are when you see the bathhouses now you'll see the bathhouses when we come up to the bathhouse in area one it's not going to be hidden back behind the trees it's going to be right out there in the open and the boardwalk down in area one gone If you want to help out here, get in touch with friends of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. If you want to get involved in the cleanup operation, I'm sure they can use all the volunteers they can get their hands on right now. I do see volunteers out there now picking trash up. I think they've just started. It's been 35 days since that hurricane came through here. There's the bathhouse in area one. The boardwalk and ramp gone. You can see the pilings. Some activity, some work going on over there. So sad. A 
and look right into the bathhouse. Right into it. All the wonderful memories, though, we have of this beautiful beach. The Ranger T laughing in the background. God bless him. He rode the storm out here. Amazing. Thank God him and his family were okay. like one of the pine trees on its side over there. Crossing over, I believe, into area two right now. Tree out in the water there. It's still a gorgeous morning out here. Sorry about the wind. Nothing I can do about that, the wind noise. I'm doing what I the best I can do. It's just turned out to be a nice morning, and I know a lot of you were curious as to what the beach looked like here in the park. Now you know. Coming up to the north end of area two now. The pine trees up ahead on the left. The north end of area two beach. You can look right through, right through the trees here to the parking lot. Right through, you can see the road back there. Unbelievable. Just a wall of water passed through here. Again, if you want to help out, if you want to volunteer, if you want more information, follow Friends of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park on Facebook. Send them a message, give them a call. Even better, give them a call if you want to volunteer. Send them an email. That looks like the boardwalk in Area 2 at the north end of Area 2 is gone. is the pine tree that many, many mornings we would see one of our ospreys sit in. You just see a piece of the bathhouse back in there. Never could you see that before in area two. That was well hidden behind the vegetation. You can just see a corner of it sticking up there. Now 
we'll see. I don't know how much room I have on this phone for storage. Video here, we'll see. We can make it up to Area Roy, Area 4. And you can see the front of the bathhouse there in the shadows. If you look really close, it's all opened up. No boardwalk, no ramp. This is a sad sight, huh? A sad sight. I ran into one of our fishermen that we'd see in the mornings up at Wiggins Pass. He was just amazed at what this place looks like. He said there's more sand now up at the north end. They did put more sand in up there. Bring more sand in. I really wouldn't even recommend walking on the beach out here by the water right now. Still a lot of debris out here. Hey, good morning. One of my fellow beach walkers. I definitely would not be in bare feet out here. Remnants of another bathhouse over there. Sun dipped behind the clouds. Maybe zoom in here, give you a little bit of a closer look. That's kind of what everything looks like though, just a mess. Just a shambles. Sad, sad, sad. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty much what all the bathhouses look like. This was tucked way back into the woods too. Now it's just sitting out on the beach in the open. That's why it's gonna take so long. They're gonna rebuild this place. They gotta rebuild basically from scratch. A lot of work, a lot of work to do. This is probably the worst speech walk I've ever had to do. <laughs> it's 
really didn't want to do it, but I just felt it was time, time to do it. I wish I could show you what the inside of the park looks like. Then you really have a good understanding of why it's going to take so long to clean up and reopen, rebuild. I recognize where I'm at now. You're an osprey in the distance. Another one of the destroyed bathhouses over there in the distance. Horrible, horrible, horrible. There's just nothing left of these things. You know, it's hard to see, but you have to squint. Again, this was back in the woods. Now it's just right out in the open on the beach. I think that's Area Roy up there. That last pine tree. The other pine trees up in Area 5 are gone. This is the, about the middle of Area 4. dunes, no more sea oats. All gone. How long will it take for them to grow back? Who knows? Oh, that's a welcome sound right there. Hear the osprey? Hear that osprey? seagulls along the beach here. <laughs> the 
it down to the south. It's gorgeous out there. Gorgeous out there. Whole bunch of little sandpipers running around up in front of me. Some plovers and sandpipers running up onto the beach. There we Roy. The trees are still there. The bench is long gone. I've got a knot in my stomach walking by here. So many, so many awesome memories from right here right here on this beach and under those trees. This is where it all happened. This is where our beach family was born, right here. Right here in this very place. Well, the trees are still here, so we know where to go when the park reopens. But that's about it, nothing else up there. Everything else wiped out. Hmm. Thinking about you, Roy. Thinking about you, buddy, right now. You know what it looks like. He knows what it looks like. Roy watched it happen. He was probably up there. Remember, he always wanted to ask his creator how and why. He was probably saying, why, why, why are you doing that to my beach? I wonder if he got an answer. I wonder if the answer was probably is because that's my beach. And it's time to reclaim it. these days I'll come out and do a little late afternoon walk here so you can see better I wanted to break it to you slowly just give you a taste of what our park looks like right now Overall look at the beach, the Del Norwegians. Getting close to the pass. Still recording, that's a good thing. Look at this bathhouse over here. Nothing left of it. Nothing left of it back there. Look right through it. Hmm. Gosh.
Well, if the video ends abruptly, it's because I ran out of storage space. Wow. There's the road. <laughs> uh, that might be a parking lot. <laughs> Who knows? Whatever it is, you never saw it before. Through the trees.